as I say, there's a lot on his platter, but let's start with one right off the bat because this week we saw Coinbase go public. There's been a lot of talk about SEC having a possible role in regulating, if not cryptocurrency, at least cryptocurrency exchanges. What do you expect to happen? I expect to see a fair amount of uh, regulation of cryptocurrencies. Right now, I think the rules are unclear. I think whether or not certain offerings involve securities or not is unclear. Uh, un, uh, and there's a, a definite likelihood that the SEC will move forward. Um, Gary Gensler is an expert on cryptocurrencies. He's taught about them and he's a market expert. And I would expect to see uh, clear rules of the road evolve under his leadership. Uh, so so uh, is it clear that the jurisdiction should lie with the SEC? I mean, there's some questions about is it a security or not, whatever, whatever cryptocurrency we're talking about. Is it clear it should be SEC or Gary Gensler's old shop of the CFTC? There's a real question about uh, where jurisdiction lies, and there may be a need for clarifying legislation. The SEC has already taken the position that Bitcoin and Ethereum are not securities, and therefore there is no regulatory uh, involvement on the SEC's part. When you get a company like Coinbase, which is effectively making markets in cryptocurrencies and it registers, then that makes the company subject to SEC regulations and indirectly the SEC will have an effect on how these cryptocurrencies are marketed. Let's talk about another area that I think will get some scrutiny, and that is what we saw with Archegos uh, in, in a family office and what happened there with the hedge fund dealings. I, I read in the Financial Times, I'll reveal my source here, that in fact there were regulations pending in the SEC that haven't been finalized yet that would have made it, it, made it clear to the Credit Suisses of this world, the Nomuros of the world, exactly how much exposure there might be from other banks who had made similar loans. I think there's been a real problem identified with the whole Archegos uh, situation. First, you had somebody who pled guilty to a felony and uh, insider trading. And the family office rules were never intended to effectively allow that person to get back into the securities industry. So I think that's one issue. I think another issue is the lack of due diligence done by the banks. There are real questions about how diligent they were or whether they were going after the trading profits because you have multiple banks funding the same transactions and not uncovering that. That allowed Archegos to over leverage the situation. And that is part of the reason why the losses have been so monumental.